The last martini gets it done in her Breeders' Con elimination for two-year-old pacing fillies. I'm here with winning driver Doug McNair. Uh, Doug, uh, how, did, how did she feel to you in that qualifier getting prepped for this alum? No, she felt great. Uh, I just sat her on, uh, on the rail there third, and she 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 come 26 and 2 there at Mohawk in a, a kind of a brisk morning, so I was pretty happy with it. You know, uh, you have shown pretty early gate speed with this filly. She's pretty versatile. Um, what went into the You took her off the gate tonight. Were you confident she was going to respond in the lane um, given that trip? Yeah, I wasn't sure how I was going to race her. You know, I, I kind of wanted to leave and hopefully follow Yannick or something like that. But uh, the right way she raced a, a few times at home there, and she's a great lady. She really didn't like it up near the front. And I know uh, Jason did a good job with her a couple times in New York, and uh, he never really got in big hurry with her, so I, I figured I'd do something like that. Obviously, a lot of uh, publicity going to Rose, a really talented filly in her own right. But uh, the filly you're, you've been driving, she's been uh, taking on the likes of Chantilly, who you know many believe is the best two-year-old pacing filly in the sport. Were you? Did you think she was a little bit, uh, you know, under overlooked uh, or underlooked uh, going into the Salem? Well, yeah, she's been just getting better and better as the year uh, went on, and she finished second to Chantilly. And if anybody watched the race, she uh, she, she kind of tried to pull up on the backside. She, she most of them they don't finish as good as she did. She come back on for second, so I was really impressed with that, and I. I thought if I get her in the right spot, uh, she, she, she might show them that she, she, she can keep up with them. All right, congrats, Doug, and best of luck next week. Thanks, Johnny. All right, there's last martini, Doug McNair, Jared Baco, getting it done here in the Speeders' Crown Olympics.